As a member of the ACC, the Virginia women's soccer team is accustomed to playing against elite competition. But last weekend's conference tournament was unique. Virginia was one of four top ten teams in semifinal action. Friday, the fourth-ranked Cavaliers squared off against number five North Carolina, and it didn't take long for UVA to capitalize on its scoring opportunities. Mackenzie Doniak used a well-timed run to slot home a through ball in the 11th minute for her team-leading 14th goal of the year, and sophomore Morgan Ruther struck 18 minutes later with a perfectly placed strike from the top of the box. The Cavaliers never ceded control, limiting Tar Heel chances and defeating Carolina for the fourth consecutive year, advancing once again to the ACC championship. Sunday's title tilt saw UVA with a chance to avenge its only loss of the season against second-ranked Florida State and improve its national standing. We, we've never played two fo top five teams in the same weekend on a Friday, Sunday. We got an environment that was what we were probably going to have in the tournament. The Cavaliers had early chances, but the Seminoles seized control with an early goal as they had done in the September matchup. There's the cross. The header and a score. The first goal of our championship match, Carson Pickett on the cross from Williams. It would be all they would need as the physical FSU side slammed the door in the high-flying Cavalier offense. I think for us we need to capitalize on our chances and I think we learned that this weekend that when we play good teams we may not have as many chances as we normally do, but when we do get those chances that we have to put them away at any point in the game, whether it's the first five minutes or the last five minutes. There were things we learned fitness-wise, there were things we learned technically. I think there were things that we learned as a staff tactically about our, our group that maybe we hadn't over the course of the season. So despite the loss, I think, like I said, coming back, there were a lot of positives out of that weekend. The loss left the 18-2 Cavaliers awaiting their NCAA fate Monday afternoon. The result, a number two seed in the same bracket with defending national champion UCLA the team that eliminated UVA in last season's College Cup. Final matchup in this quarter of the bracket begins with High Point, Big South Conference champions, traveling to the two seed in this region, and that is Virginia. The Cavaliers' 27th NCAA tournament appearance is the third most in history. They enter this year with the nation's second highest scoring offense, netting three and a half goals per game. I mean, it doesn't matter who really is in our bracket, gotta beat every team to won a national championship, so I think we're excited and I think our main focus right now is on high point this Friday. We have to come out and play in every game and we have to play our best to beat the best. And we know that we have a really great shot at winning a national championship and I think that we learned from how we played in our last game and we know that we got to come out to play in every game now. We're happy there's another tournament and we're happy to see what we, if we can improve on what we, we need to based on this past weekend, I think that's going to help us. While the matchup with UCLA looms in the future, the first obstacle is Friday's opening round game with High Point. Head coach Steve Swanson will rely on an experienced and talented group to focus on the Big South champions and each game of the single elimination format. At the end of the day, it's a tournament and, and it's winner you're done, so I think we've got enough players in the room that understand the gravity and the importance of all these games. One game at a time, I know that's pretty cliche, but it's the way to go now. It's what we have to do.